I'm Mark Camosio and we're Gunmark TV. Now this is a quite an impressive little pistol from Umarex, who are obviously based in Germany and they're the ones who produce quite realistic looking sort of replica pistols under licence from a lot of the top firearms manufacturers. This is the Colt 45 SAA or Single, action, single Army Action and it's uh, sort of the Peacemaker style pistol and it's got the fully working revolver system and this one comes in the antique finish you can also get it you know, in alternative finishes but I rather like this actually it does lend a really realistic look to it they're about two pounds in weight and so you've got it feels um, you know authentic I'd say the only but the downside if I'm going to mention this is the only negative really right up front and I always find the grips it's a little bit too shiny doesn't quite ring true but this, the build quality on this is excellent, the functionality is excellent, so yeah, um, it's impressive overall. This one's been kindly lent by Range and Country, the big dealer in Sleaford, uh, in Lincolnshire. It's classic Umarex, it's quality, um, yeah, it's a cut above your average. This is CO2 powered, and this is pellet only, which always, it pleases me, I'm not a fan of ball bearing, they're dangerous, and they're um, you know largely inaccurate. So yeah, this is pellet only, and you've got sort of dummy bullets carried in here and you're pulling your pellet in the bullet so we'll show all that so looking at the features you've got obviously the basic this follows the authentic pattern so you've got the the cast foresight there you've got the the channel there which actually creates your rear sight aperture all very neatly done it's a nice sight picture actually in operation but i mean i probably if i own this i'd add a little tiny dot of bright paint to help with I mean, my failing eyes these days. You've got a spring-loaded ejector rod underneath, obviously, to clear the bullets. You don't always need that, but it's there if, you, if it is necessary. You've Coming back here, you've got the, as it follows the original, you've got the opening gate, and then you've got your six bullets inside the revolver. You've got, obviously, your hammer, which is gonna help cock the system, and it's single action only, so it fires from being fully cocked. You've got a really nice trigger on this. It's a very sweet feel. It's sort of, it's exactly where you want it. And it's quite a light, surprisingly light pull, very predictable. So operation's good. I'll show you the CO2 uh, system first, and then we'll look at the bullets. So basically it's a 12 gram CO2 capsule uh, like this that's held within the grip. You see there's an indent underneath. So you get your finger in there, just pull that up. That snaps off. And I must admit, when I first got this, I thought, God, I can't believe I've lost the Allen key. I'm very careful with these things, but I really thought I'd lost it. Of course, it's an integral key, which is all part of the grips. You can't lose it. That's ingenious. You've got to basically use that to release the, release the pressure on there. And then that's the tensioner. Remove that, put in a new ca capsule, and then retighten it. As you tighten that, you'll hear it hiss. This is uh, a live capsule we've got in here. And you can see it pierces when it's obviously... Uh, in use and obviously that's a spent one so you tight nip that up with the allen key likewise and once you're happy with that you're ready to go you see a little tab on the end there just indent that into the first corner and the rest of it just snaps on really simple really neat and the whole of that is is well thought out so now we've got six um, dummy bullets on board so we want to get to those open your gate you half cock the action it follows the pattern of the original that allows your chambers to move around and as it moves around you can get access to these bullets so you can actually uh, feed pellets in in situ but if you want to remove them and it's sort of all it's there's a nice feel to them you just feel that i would advise having something to catch them because you, it's so easy to drop them in the earth and uh, out when you're outdoors and you don't want dirt, any air gun you don't want dirt in the mechanism so there we go now that one's Obviously a bit stubborn because I've got five out. We've got one that's a bit stubborn. Bring it round so it lines up and use your um, ejector rod. There we go. So we're all out. And now, basically you'll just push a pellet into the rear. Keep them flush. Just push a pellet into each one. And again, good rule with all these things, you don't want them too loose, but if, you've got, if you're suddenly using some particular maker pellets that are weight, you know, really hard to push in, then find ones that aren't, because there is a little bit of variation, there's softer lead in some pellets. Get something that just feels right, feels snug in there, and it's gone flush, so it's gonna, everything's gonna cycle. 
uh, correctly. So we filled all those, they're all ready to go. So we drop those back in the action. The, the, the um, revolving cylinder moves clockwise every time. It won't go back the other way, so best not to try. Let's keep that going. Chamber all of those. There's a nice feel, everything is you know, very solid, boldly made, and it just it feels good, it feels refined, feels well engineered. Fully cock the hammer, and here we go. Fully cock it. It is single action, so you've got to fully cock. <clears throat> so there you go. As you see, it's just very sweet to use. The trigger's particularly light, and it's very impressive. They say that the quality of manufacture, you know, it's classic Umarex, but it's, it's a lot of fun, but it's also quite accurate. I mean, we've had, we'll show you the group on there we've had, but sort of not much over an inch, about an inch and a quarter at 10 yards. Because it's pellet, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot more accurate than just a sort of ball bearing thing. So it's got usable accuracy as well as being a real satisfying replica as well at the same time. So yeah, nice gun. So that's the Colt 45 single action army from Umarex. Mm -hmm.